was very nice to see all of your videos and all of your work on Daisy and Rambling Man and um, it's been keeping me very entertained in what are quite sparsely non-entertaining times. Um, so uh, today we're going to do something in standard that's maybe a bit easier, I, though I've been really um, kind of amazed by all of your uh, technical ability on the guitar, it's really astonishing. Uh, but I also got some messages from people who said, can you keep it a little bit more simple? Um, and I will try to do that. So um, I'm going to play through Tap at My Window. I'll play it all the way through and I'll try and keep the neck in view so you can have a look. And then I'll, I'll take you through some of the details of it. But um, it's it's mostly bar chords and they're, they're pretty primary colour. Um, so... I wrote it when I was 16, so it reflects that. <laughs> um, so here we go. <laughs> in a slightly wiki because so I thought it would be easier for me not to use capos so that you can all because I don't know if any of you have capos 
Ay, um, so, for those of you who are fairly new to guitaring, uh, these are bar chords. It's really hard to see them above the chords. Those are bar chords. You can have a major bar chord. And uh, that is also a bar chord. But then when we get down, so that's just that's just going down. Somebody cleverer than me could tell you what that is going down in. To me, that's just going down a fret at a time and a string at a time. And then the other parts of the songs are in the first position, so that's easier for me to tell you what they are. So I know what these are. That is an A major. That is a C sharp minor. <laughs> That's a G major. And that is a B minor. I'm pretty sure. Might be. Yeah, I think it is. And uh, and then so the other part of the song is an A minor. Maybe I, um, trying to find. So A minor, E7, which is just an E major without the Trying to find Oh, an emotion you cannot deny So that's, that's those bits. Um, the, the, the tricky bit to show you, I guess, is the... And I'll, I'll, I'll show you where else I've used these... Style of chords. Again, I don't know the names of them. Um, but they fit in my brain into this scale, a similar system to the dad pad scale, which is... That's just my guitar vocabulary. I think of things being based around a sort of two-fingered scale. Um, so maybe I'll write them a story Maybe I fall asleep in his arms Maybe I would wake up lonely Falling away again And until you A minor E7 F major So actually that's probably it. So if you are playing along at home, why don't we try playing along to uh, the verse. So that would be your major bar chord, your minor, your major, your minor. So, one, two, three. He taps at my wind. going off um, so that's that and then you've got the so that's a f five blank blank five five blank, blank five. maybe I should write him a story maybe I'll fall asleep in his arms maybe I'll wake up to the first position stuff, which is trying A minor, E7, F major, trying to find, oh, an emotion you cannot deny, E7, I will not have them treat me this way. So that's really it. And um, I didn't figure out how to save these things. So I think I've figured it out now. Some, somebody's helped me with that. Um, and I will 
ch chop it up and f figure out how to put it in the highlights because nobody seems to know how to do that. But what I have also been trying to do is um, write the tab. Uh, someone, a couple of you suggested that that would be helpful and um, I've been trying to do that. But if there is any tab wizards out there, as by the looks of your guitar skills, there might be. If you have any of the tab, particularly for Daisy, because that's tricky for me to write out because the timings are um, not easy for the musically illiterate, um, like me. That would be very helpful. Um, otherwise, I will continue to try and write those out and I will do the same for these ones. Um, so I did say that we might have a look at the valley, which is a bit more difficult, but actually I think the valley um, was not as popular as Noel on the request side of things. So we'll try a bit of Noel. I'm not going to play it all the way through because I recently played it um, at Sydney Opera House, not the main room, and uh, I forgot the song, halfway through the song, on stage, and that I'm still a little bit traumatised from that, so I'm not going to do that again live on the internet. So um, I'll show you some elements of Noel but also what is tricky about this song is that I spent quite a lot of time learning to uh, learning the picking pattern um, which kind of informed the song so and the picking pattern the person that I learned the picking pattern off um, was a combination of not personally but of listening to a lot of Chet Atkins which I highly recommend, and I'm sure there's some clever YouTube tutorial you can watch about Chet Atkins' finger-picking style. And also uh, Johnny Flynn, years ago, he's a big uh, thumb picker, and he gave me a little lesson in thumb picking, though he's much more um, bluesy. Um, so Johnny, go and, go and look at Johnny Flynn things, because he's very good at that. So I'll show you the the, the some of the bits maybe that are harder to figure out on your own. Um, it starts with just a C shape that, I don't know what that chord is, but so you're in a primary color, what I, what I call a primary color C shape. Uh, because C, you can move up the neck. That's also a really good practice, playing chords in different positions up the neck. Um, but you start in a primary color C shape, and then you, you move your middle finger, move everything up to the same fret, so on the, on the, on the same string. So it's nothing on the top, three, three, blank, three. So nothing on the top, blank, three, three, blank, three. And then the... Pattern. It's very awkward to do this in this little screen. The thumb, that's what you've got to practice. You can practice it with nothing else and practice it very slowly. It took me a long time. So you're going. That's a G in the bass, third fret, with an A sharp, A minor seven underneath, and then whatever that is, which is a three blank, three blank, three. That's nice. Three blank, three blank, three. started this live Instagram but I didn't. There we are. So seven uh, C in the primary color position. Up to the, all the third fret things. And then a G 
with an A minor seven in a underneath, moving up to the third fret things. A seven, pulling off a G, F major, so that's like the F major bar chord, but with open strings in between. deeper if you like um yeah it is hard <laughs> it is hard your comments are so funny um it is definitely hard it, it I, even i don't remember how to play it live so there's that section this is the getting into the tricky bit but i love you i've i've recently opened up my world of harmonic, the way that harmony goes underneath vocal harmony is very interesting to me now. And I think that's no coincidence that that was while working with Blake Mills. And if you haven't checked out Blake Mills, you should, because he'll teach you everything you ever needed to know about harmony. Um, so actually, let's go back to what I was saying about scales or how I think of scales within tunings because this what I was doing in um, tap at my window also turns up in, in lots of other songs um, what he wrote is based around quite a lot of, of that style of uh, it's in a different tuning but but also next time it's the same thing and next time just follows this really lovely scale. We'll do this another time because this is also quite complicated. But getting back to Noel. So Noel, similarly, whenever I'm writing, I'm always just following a familiar scale that I know has already been written. Um, we, we all know it's been written, you know, it's in you. You, you, under, you, you. Human beings inherently understand melody, I think. So, um, so I do well, I do well. So that is another version of C major. Seventh fret. Serve no will. Serve no will. So that would be blank seven, blank, blank, eight. <laughs> blank seven, blank, blank, eight. So <clears throat> no, uh, no. Serve no. So seven, blank, blank, seven. It is, it is a lot and I can maybe teach you in another video, but this is carrying on. That's just another version of A minor. So I encourage you to practice your chords up and down um, in different positions on the neck of the guitar. That's a really good way to find interesting harmony and uh, to have a lovely time with your guitar. Um, so I'll just go through what we've, what we've done on Noel. And um, then we'll see where we're at. So you've got your the thumb 
working hard. finding routine my, most of my life is very routineless so I have to I'm quite um, adept at making up routines so um, get out of bed get dressed read a book take notes on it play the guitar make food be helpful that's all I can say um, and send me your progress and send me, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to respond to as many as I can. I'm not totally um, doing that right now because it's a little bit more than I anticipated, but I will try and get through them all. And I will also try and write the tab. Um, maybe in a couple of days, maybe a few more days in between the, this one and the last one, we'll come back and do some other things and I will listen to requests. So whatever you want to learn. Um, and uh, have a nice evening. All right. Bye.